Yes, I got your message, Jada. I mean, I would say I appreciate it, but I really don't. I mean, that's kind of crazy that you're standing in front of your mom and you're mimicking her as she stands in front of her mom. Y'all kind of look the same. When Tanya's standing there watching her daughter make a fool of herself and not stopping her, or at least trying to give her some type of advice, it just looks bad. And then you got the same situation occurring again. You got Charlene standing behind her daughter as she's yelling at an adult that's raised her her whole life. Whether she hates me or not, whether they are right or not, it just don't look good. Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back, or welcome to Destiny Reacts, and if you are new to this channel, this is a reaction channel. You're going to hear my opinion, you're going to hear my take on things, and don't worry, you'll get to say what you think in the comment section. If you would like to support the channel, I do have a cash app, and it is right here, Destiny Reacts, or you can hit the dollar sign in the comment section and send a super thanks. Or if you just want to hit the like button and let me know your favorite part of the video in the comment section, that's great too. Now let's get into this video. I saw on Royalty, aka Shard to the Lean's Instagram, and her and her daughter were posting a few things. This is Jalea, her oldest daughter, and she did post a picture where she crossed out her eyes and was holding all of this money. And as you can see here, Charlene put this on her Instagram story and it looks like she went and did some type of shopping challenge with the kids. Anybody else think this is hilarious because finally after court, now she is doing more for the kids, buying them more stuff, and it's not coming from random people on the internet. And where did they get all this money from? And if they actually do have money, why would they be staying with Charlene's mother? These are all questions that need to be answered, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait on the video. So the moment we have all been waiting for, CJ So Cool did post his video about everything that has been going on with the court, with Charlene, with the custody. He even brought up a lot of things that Charlene was talking about on the internet, and he needed to set the record straight. But before we get into what CJ was saying, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. If you can recall, I was told via video that if I wanted to see my kids, I knew what to do, which meant to get a lawyer, lawyer up and go to court and do all that crazy stuff. And that's what I did. If you don't know, Charlene kept coming on this internet saying, oh, he took me to court, I didn't take him to court, so I'm going to win regardless because he took me to court. I didn't take him to court. But the funniest part about it is Sean actually got on the video and said, let's lawyer up. That's easy. I guess it wasn't that easy after all. Um, she made sure I wasn't a part of their birthday when they turned three. And you know, when Christmas came, I had to pay her to get the kids for that. CJ had to pay to see the children on Christmas? You're telling me that this woman didn't just get the kids to him for Christmas? So the last Christmas that he got them for, he had to pay to see them. And yes, we're talking about before he went to court. He had to pay to see his own children for Christmas. The majority of the time she did let me see the kids, she chaperoned me. So it was it was a real uphill battle that I had to fight against the mother of the twins. And you see that? This is ridiculous. This man was good enough to take care of her three children three days after she met him. But she had to supervise him with his own kids. Please somebody make that make sense. Already said that Kamari, the twins, Charlene's kids are all brothers and sisters, and there's really no need to keep fighting because we're not gonna grow from it. I agree with this completely. Why can't Charlene and CJ just get it together and become cordial? They don't have to be friends, but you're gonna be family, okay? As much as Charlene and her oldest daughter feel like they hate CJ so much, why can't they just get over that and realize that they're going to be in each other's lives forever? And really, Jalea should be mad at her own mother. If it wasn't for your mother trying to have kids with CJ, y'all could have just parted ways and never spoke again. But Charlene had to have kids with CJ. She just had to. It was something about it. She needed to do it. So if anybody should be mad at anybody, everybody should be mad at Charlene on her side for even having kids with CJ. The real only way to move on should have been us not collaborating because that's a word you use for influencers. They're not influencers. The real word for us, I believe, would be to come together as a family and just drop the issue. There, there aren't issues. There's just one issue. The only issue is they claim they don't like me because I didn't collab with Funny Mike, I think. <laughs> I don't even know what the real issue is. I now, if you saw in Charlene's video, you would have heard Jalea say, CJ could have collabed with Funny Mike, but he did it. Now, I don't think she was saying that as far as they wanted him to collab with him or something like that. I think it was the fact that Charlene told her children that CJ wanted to collab with him so that he could get back with her and I guess see the kids and get money or whatever. When the truth was, CJ's lawyer 
told him to collab with them, do some videos, join together, become a family, try to be cordial, and things will be better. Then I guess maybe the court case could have stopped sooner and none of this would have needed to happen. But since Charlene was too focused on proving that CJ wanted her back in a relationship, it kind of got all messed up. So when Julia said, oh, you want to collab with us? But you could have collabed with Funny Mike. I think she was just meaning it as, we're not collabing with you, but you could have collabed with him back in the day. I know I didn't like them. They were dirty, disrespectful, off camera, always yelling at me, telling me how I wasn't anything without them, how I would fall off without them, how I needed them. And it was just so discouraging. As a grown man, you don't want to walk into the house that you're providing for. Granted, we all worked together as a team, but I made sure everything was always taken care of. Now, I found a clip on CJ's channel that related to this so much. And this was from about two years ago. So watch this. The royalty's mom, I'm telling you, every single day, she would tell me, CJ, you ain't nothing without these kids. And if these kids leave, your channel's gonna disappear and you're gonna just fall off the face of the earth. And it actually started dawning on me that maybe she was right. I actually believe this, right? But in reality, I should have never listened to her. So imagine you're the man in the relationship. You have been taking care of her children for all of these years, even before YouTube, even before he had a job, he was taking care of these children physically. Then he got a job and was working at the casino. Then he started YouTube with his brother. He put the kids on there, Charlene on there. They got really big, they started doing tours. It was amazing. Then some time passes and all you start hearing as the man is without the kids, you're nothing. And that's coming from a mother figure that you were looking up to because you didn't have your biological mom in your life. Imagine how that is going to make you feel. But the problem is when he reacts, then everybody gets mad at him. Like she said in court, everything went to my bank account. Everything was in my name. So that means that I was the caretaker. I was the one providing for the family, making all the right moves to keep us in the necessary places that we were, you know, that we were in because we could have been fell off a long time ago. But I always made sure there was a plan in place and I was the one that took the fall that things didn't go right. And I was the one that was supposed to take the credit when things did go right. So CJ said that he was the one paying all the bills, all the money went into his bank accounts, everything was in his name. So I'm trying to figure out, when did Charlene think she was a boss? What did she do that showed us she was this boss woman, independent woman, we have never seen it. She didn't even have a bank account in her name? You're telling me a woman who was with this man didn't have any money put to the side in her own bank account so that she can make sure her and her kids are good? And then I had little kids and teenagers yelling at me all the time based off the things that their mom told them. It, it was just a big clash situation. And now this is what really got me. The fact that Charlene would allow her children to verbally attack CJ, argue with him all the time. You're really allowing your children to do this to a man that is taking care of them? And I also wanna point out how Charlene would always talk about how Kamari is disrespectful and she doesn't wanna do what the other kids do. She doesn't wanna clean, she doesn't wanna wash, she doesn't wanna do all of these things. But you sat there and let your children talk to an adult crazy and you saw nothing wrong with it. In my opinion, even if it was Kamari talking to an adult crazy like Jalea was, it would still be wrong. But for some reason, since it is Charlene's children, nobody sees anything wrong with it. Because the narrative now is, he didn't win anything. He was trying to steal my kids and get full custody. No, I wasn't. I was trying to get some rights as a father. I just wanted 50-50 and that's exactly what I got. So I technically won. Not only did I win what I went to get, I prevented you from getting something that you wanted, which was money out of me. You made me have the kids because it wasn't God's will. You made me have the kids, forcing me to think that it was something that I needed to do. I did this for you and then you turned it around and tried to use it against me for monetary gain. Charlene can get on this internet and say anything. And there are people who are going to believe whatever she says. As much as we as reaction channels call her out on her lies, people will still believe every single thing she says. So just because Charlene told everybody that he's trying to get full custody, it has to be true. And even though she told everybody that she was trying to get child support, now that she changed it to she was never trying to get child support, everybody believes that. And the fact that she was having CJ pay to see the kids before the courts, this is what makes people think that she only had those children for money. She looks at the twins as dollar signs. And how disrespectful is that? The twins are human beings. They're their own people. They have their own thoughts and feelings. But when she looks at them, in my opinion, all she sees is money. Which eventually slapped you in the face because you ain't getting nothing. Now you actually have the kids and you have to take care of them. They're not toys, they're not YouTube collaborators, they're just humans that didn't actually be here. Now they're here. And the fact that they're here based off of the decisions that she made and that I made and we can't even come together as a family, it's kind of really messed up for the twins. When you think about it, CJ was able to be a father figure to her three children way before the twins even were thought of. 
Even though CJ wasn't their biological father, he stepped into that role and raised them just as his own and at times better than his own. But as CJ is saying, the twins are growing up in a world where they will never see a two-parent household. They always will have to go back and forth. The twins will never be able to see their parents in the same room, talking, laughing, just getting along for them. As I've said before, both parents should be able to love their children more than they hate each other. And if they can do that, there wouldn't be any issue. But as we can see, CJ wants to get past it. He wants to be nice to these people. He wants to be in the same room and get along. But they don't. I'm just excited that now I get to be in my children's life. And no matter who cares or who believes me, this is the only thing that I wanted. I just wanted to be in their life. I didn't have a father. I didn't have a mother. I was raising my great-grandmother and my grandmother. And it was very hard and difficult for me to not only fit in with other people who was raised by younger adults who had swag at the time or who thought, you know, about the cool things in life versus someone's great-grandmother who doesn't give a freak about none of that. So... It's deeper than that too because before my grandmother saved me, I was in foster care. So I was trying to prevent my kids from going through that situation because based off the way their mom is living, they weren't too far from going to foster care. So And this right here is crazy. The fact that CJ understood that his children were going through something that he did not want them to go through. He did not want his children to be lost in the system. So he knew he had to do something. And maybe people don't understand what CJ is talking about, but think about it. The first instance that we saw of Charlene acting crazy when it came to her children was bringing her two minor children to a fight with another grown adult. She had her mother there, her son, and her oldest daughter. She actually had her son recording this fight as she was having it and then had her oldest daughter in there cussing, threatening to hit somebody. In my opinion, this is child endangerment. Just think about it. And this is when CPS got in her life once again. And then we have the fact that she allows a man around her children that has charges of threatening, drugs, firearms. All of these things are on his record and they are pretty recent. And when people told her that this person shouldn't be around the kids, she said, Get off that. Get off that weird stuff. It's just weird, okay? Right, go, 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 and at the end of the day, something that he did a year ago when I did not know him, I have no control over. It has nothing to do with me. And that's just something that we are gonna go through together. So it's just like, we're not about to dwell on the past because the past is not about to hold us back. Instead of leaving him alone, people should now understand why CJ feels this way. Having his children around a person that just got arrested recently, Having your mother think it's okay to bring her minor children to fight a grown woman? Lady making me go to court and waste money I could have been spending on our kids. Instead of just saying, you know what, this is ridiculous, let me end this here and let's just take care of the family. It just kept going on and on and on. We could have ended this the same month I took her to court, which was March 2023. It's April 2024. We could have ended this last year. That's really crazy because my lawyer drew up some papers, sent it to her and her lawyer. They was about to sign it and out of nowhere she was like, no, nah, I want child support. If y'all remember, Charlene was the one saying that CJ kept prolonging court. He was the one that kept making it go on and on and on, and all she wanted was it to end. Now, as we hear from CJ, he was ready for it to end a long time ago, but then she now wanted child support. So because she wanted child support, now it lasted way longer than it needed to. But then if you remember, Charlene continued to come on this internet and say she didn't want anything from CJ. No money, nothing. She didn't want anything. She just wanted the court to be over. But then in court, she's obviously a different person. And that's when the whole thing just got crazy. So now I went from taking her to court for 50-50 joint physical custody to now I'm taking her to court and fighting on not having to pay her a penny. So a lot of the times I was just here chilling, like overthinking everything. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna sit here and make it seem like, oh man, I was just I was just doing this and doing that. No, I was sitting around overthinking most of those days going, what the heck is gonna happen? She talking online, like I'm gonna get 20,000 a month, I'm gonna get 10 bands a month. I'm just thinking realistically like, bro, I'm not gonna give her none of that. CJ was paying her to see the twins before he had to take her to court. If she was smart enough, she would have realized, oh, he is willing to still help out with money. He is willing to still throw my children birthday parties and get them toys, gifts, clothes, whatever. He's still willing to do for my children and he's willing to do for his children. I don't want to be in court. Let's just listen. You get him for a week, I'll get him for a week. You get him for two weeks, I'll get him for two weeks. 
and you could have kept that money coming in because he was willing to do it for you but somebody someone something got in her head making her think no take me to court and i guess she thought everything will be better i don't know what she do but i know for a fact any money that she gets she's not putting in them kids she's just not doing that and that's the typical ghetto baby mama i don't want to i don't even want to go there but that's really what it is so I only have two baby mamas. One of my baby mamas, she came from the hood. She will tell you right now, I'm got uh, whatever, right? But I know for a fact, any money that she makes, she makes sure she's taking care of her kids with it. And I'm not saying she's paying the bills. We all gotta do that. Whether we got kids or not, we gotta pay the bills. I'm talking about other things. Like, you know, it's just- I don't know if y'all remember that live stream that Charlene did a long time ago on her Instagram, but she went off on Nike talking about how Nike always has her hair done, her nails done, but Kamari, her daughter, her hair is never done. Well, that turned out to be a big lie. And it's funny that she talked like that back then because now we see Charlene. Seems like her hair, her makeup, she always has these fashion over deals. All of these things that she does for herself. And people always comment on how the children are dressed. They comment on how long it's been since their hair has been done. All of a sudden, it seemed like it was all about Charlene and it wasn't about the kids anymore. I do know is them kids is living way better over here than they're living over there. We both making money, just like the judge said. When the judge ended this court case, he said, y'all both make the same amount of money, basically. So nobody ain't gotta pay nobody. You can take care of the kids just as well as he can take care of the kids. So let's drop all that right. I definitely agree that if Charlene was awarded money, I don't think it would go to the children. Maybe for a video, she might do a challenge where she get some toys for them and whatever they touch they can get or she might do that for a video but on a consistent regular basis i just don't see it and this was so surprising to me the fact that the judge looked at everything and saw that cj and charlene were making around the same amount of money and cj is living the way he is and charlene is living the way she is it's crazy we see who's putting the money where we see that Kamari, her hair is done, her nails are done, she's looking good. She's always shopping for new clothes. The twins, they always have new clothes, new shoes, toys. He gets some toys and things all the time. So we see where CJ's money is going. But when we look at Charlene and to even think that she has the same amount of money as CJ, what is she doing with her money? Why aren't her kids always having new clothes, new shoes, hairstyles? nails why are we not seeing that same energy it truly looks like in my opinion that charlene takes care of herself first and then the children right now we ain't in here uh going through a divorce we were never married so most of the things she was fighting for was something that a married couple would be going through not someone like us when i was taking care of you and your other kids for nine years then we had kids and then we broke up now you want to get rich off me that's kind of crazy but you know what's crazy about this whole situation cj actually wanted to marry her he truly wanted to marry this woman. And if she actually would have took that step, she probably could have got a lot of what he has. And if you remember a while back, she told Jamie that she was going to change the older three children's last name to Brady and put CJ on the birth certificate. You chose not to be a father. So, like I said, I have every right to take my kids away from you. End of story. I don't want to hear about this person anymore because I've deleted him out of my life. No, he's not on any of my kids' birth certificates and I'm glad that I did that. So since your name is not on there, guess whose names will go on there? Cordero James Brady. You right. And I might change their last name too, to Brady. Just imagine if she actually did both of those things. I mean, I've been wanting to say a lot of stuff, but I mean, I just had to keep my mouth closed because according to the court, this, this case is sealed. I, I think that's what they said. It's sealed because kids are involved in Most times in this situation, people on the blogs, they like to go into court battle and dig up all the receipts and post it online. And that's just unhealthy. So a lot of you guys that's out there making money off of a situation like mine's, that's blasting all of our information out there, watching this woman throw her life away and practically endanger her kids and just do all kind of weirdo stuff and, and pushing her forward to continue to do it. It's kind of like all the other problem too. This is what I will never understand about people that say they support Charlene. If you seriously support this woman, wouldn't you want better for her? You clearly see she is destroying herself. This woman is getting skinnier and skinnier by the day. 
smoke on banks. She gets on video and threatens to beat people up and then she threatens to get people to beat people up. She was withholding the children until CJ gave her some money. She is now currently having to live again with her mother. It's like she's just going backwards. It seems like everybody that supports her just continues to tell her how great she's doing and not wanting to tell her the truth. This woman literally brought two of her minor children to a street fight and people were cheering her on. I've been calling, y'all here to cause. I'm literally trying to make amends and just for them to secretly record me, post it, manipulating the fans, making it feel like something else is going on. I never called her and said, hey, let's get together. I miss you. No, it wasn't like that. My lawyer told me what I should have did. It made perfect good sense. And I already was thinking that anyway, because I've always thought like that. Why would I want to be with the same people I built my foundation up with? Yeah, me and my brother started my YouTube and I was doing reaction, something that he put me on to, but eventually I crossed over and me and the family, we built up what we now have today is this CJ so cool entity and you think I want to continue fighting them for the rest of my life that's like fighting my flesh and blood to me that's how I felt like but to them of course I'm just a stranger who never did a good thing for them and I don't deserve any good things in my life and they wish death upon me right but CJ was there with them taking care of the children before they got on YouTube he was there making sure Julia got to school so she didn't miss another year of school he was helping potty train Carnation Charlene would be at work most of the time. He was the one feeding them, clothing them, whatever they needed, he had to be that. And then they came up together on YouTube, and for some reason, the children and Charlene and her mother act like they're the best and he's nothing. The amount of hatred that Jalea has for CJ, in my opinion, is so crazy. It seems like it came out of nowhere. But of course, we're not behind the scenes, so we don't see exactly what's going on. Karma is real, and the universe is always watching. So once this camera goes off, I don't think about her, I don't talk about her kids, I don't do none of that. The only reason why I called them was to try to make amends. This was actually before court, actually. So I called her the day before court ended, because I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I just wanted us to be on the same page, just in case something went left. And in my case, everything went right. And in her case, everything went left. And it's not my fault that she got the worst end of the stick. She apparently had 100% rights. Now she had her rights split in half and she has to share her rights with me. So instead of her having 100% physical joint custody where she could just decide if I get to see the kids or not, she can't do that. Now I have to see the kids. I'm guaranteed to see my kids every other week. I get my kids for a week. That has never been in her plan. She, she has been planting seeds of doubt, seeds of negativity, everything when it came to CJ in her kids' brains. So now look what that seed has grown, Jalea. She doesn't care, she's disrespectful, she thinks she can attack a dog. She never wanted that to happen. As a matter of fact, the first day in court, she stood on the freaking uh, booth and said, I think he needs to have supervised, su uh, supervised visitation with the twins. Supervised visitation with the twins? So not her, like she had been doing. She meant like the police need to be present when I was watching my kids. As Charlene actually told the court that CJ needs supervised visits with the twins. Now, please, somebody help me understand this. A woman who moved in a man that she met at a club with her mother into her mother's house three days, I think, three days after meeting him, you move him in and you go to work and he's watching your children. These children are no kin to him. But you allow this man to watch them, take them to school, feed them, clothe them, bathe them, potty train them. But then you say he needs to be supervised with his own children. Please somebody wrap their mind around that. The only thing I can think is maybe she sees the twins as better than the other kids. Maybe she didn't care as much for the other children because how is that possible? So Jamie's kids can be taken care of by a random man from the club, but CJ's children, he needs to be supervised with them. As if I was going to beat on, leave them out in the streets to die, like what the freak? So it, that was the first obstacle I had to jump over because I didn't know what the judge was going to say. I don't know him, he didn't know me. I'm like, dang, this is how we started this? You over here telling them that I need supervised visitation over my two kids that I've been wanting to be in their life since forever. Since they was born, I've been there, I never left. And let me know in the comment section, do you think Charlene actually came up with this supervised visits on her own? Do you really think her brain thought of this by herself? Or do you think somebody must have told her to say that? I don't think she could 
come up with something like that by herself. Somebody had to tell her to say that. Word on the street is a kid, a female girl, said to line up and she wants to fade and she's gonna knock me out and I'm very terrified. But uh, I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Even though after today, I, I see it was just cap because when I dropped my kids off, she was there. She didn't have on the fighting clothes. I mean, I assume those was her fighting clothes unless that's just how she dressed now. I think that is just how she dresses now. She's turned completely into her mother. Can y'all believe Jillia? The 16 year old really sat on this internet and talked about trying to fight a grown man. I truly hope Jalea realizes that fighting is not the answer. Even though you saw your mother out there fighting and she brought you along with her to watch and participate, it's not it. Especially trying to fight a grown man. Are you crazy? The scariest part about this is there are some men out here who do not care. They will fight a girl, a woman, like they're just another man in the street. I hope Delia never has to fight a man. She should look at her mother, look at her situation, and if what she said about Jamie But what that parent can sit there and let somebody give their daughter or their kid busted lips and black eyes? I had to go to work with piles of makeup on my face trying to cover a black eye because I said something wrong or wore something wrong or didn't give you cigarette money or didn't give you beer money or just a petty argument. You don't want that. The fact that Charlene wants us to believe that she had a man putting his hands on her, giving her black eyes, less lips, all of these things, but then you have your daughter from that man talking about fighting a grown man and you say nothing. You sit there and act like it's okay. If Charlene is really the victim she wants us to believe, how could you even allow your daughter to say these things? But no words were said. No one rushed me. No one did anything. Kamari was there just, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Because I have 100% faith in my kid. And I know that my kid will not let me get drugged on the ground, sit back in the background and cry while recording me get beat on. That's just not- I would hate to see Kamari have to jump into a fight. Of course, she's going to have her dad's back, just like Charlene's kids will have her back. But it should never come to that. And I'm so happy to hear that it didn't. But the fact that CJ referenced somebody getting drunk on the ground and the kid recording and crying, you know what he's talking about, right? Poor Leon. I don't know how he's going to live that down because he definitely was crying as his mother was getting beat up. But see, that's the problem. Charlene, why would you bring your kids to see you fight? not a good decision. I have never said that I wanted to take my kids away from her. I've only said I wanted my rights, 50-50. I wanted to be an equal parent to the kids that I helped bring into this world, not only by using my sperm, but my money. It was $40,000 to conceive those kids. I had to put my semen in a cup. It had to be frozen. Without me, they, they don't exist. So I hate when mothers and, and people that like the mothers tend to just sh** on the fathers like we don't matter. Like, bro, it would be no kids if it wasn't for the father. This whole world wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the father. Yes, females hold a very valuable part in the world because the kids can't, we can't have birth without the female. That's why we both are essential. That's why we shouldn't be clashing like this. We shouldn't be fighting like this. That's why when someone calls you behind the scenes, you shouldn't be thinking of, let me record this. It's gonna be so cool. Oh my God. You should be thinking, oh my God, this is my chance to end all the beef. I'm tired. I'm damn near worn out from the court battles and the online fights and Let's just end this and just let the kids grow up happy, but no. I've said it once and I'll say it again. As long as Charlene's mother, Tanya, is in her ear, controlling her, allegedly, it's just my opinion. As long as Tanya is there telling her to do this, say this, live here, don't live here, don't talk to him, don't let him see the kids, whatever she got going on over there, it will not be peaceful. I believe that Tanya has a huge part of all of this. Think about it, y'all. This woman, allegedly, has two baby daddies, two children, not with either one of the men. And then we have Charlene who says she's never even met or had a relationship, knew nothing about her father. I don't have to go to work every day. I've never had a father. So if anybody wants to say that I come from Stuff being handed out to me, no. My mom worked three jobs. A single mother at that. I've never had a father. Do y'all really think that Tanya wasn't up fighting, fussing, cussing on the phone, doing some weird stuff in front of her daughter? I don't think Charlene just got this behavior out of nowhere. Just as Jalea is watching her and imitating every single thing that Charlene is doing now, this had to come from Tanya. This is why I think she's getting a lot of her information from her mother, who has no successful relationship. When have we ever seen her with a man? Has she ever been married before? What does she know about 
relationships. Because it wasn't anything to expose. I just did what my lawyer told me to do. It didn't work. Oh, well. I didn't pull up on y'all. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I offered some shoes to Nation. I seen her. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you know, you need some shoes? It wasn't like a bride tactic. Come over here and uh, if, if you know what's good for you, you know I got those shoes. It wasn't like that. It was really me just being nice. But you know what? You can't really be nice anymore. Now, you see that? CJ saw the shoes that Carnation was either wearing or whatever and offered to buy her shoes. So once again, we're seeing CJ wanting to do a good deed for the children that he raised for nine years and everybody thinks that's negative. He wanted to throw a birthday party for Leon and then Charlene got on a video saying it like it was a negative thing. It would be weird if he told them to get out and then had nothing to do with them anymore. Didn't call them, didn't check on them, didn't offer to do anything for them. That's weird because you said you love these kids like they were your own, but then they're not around you and you don't want to do anything for them. It's kind of like how Charlene left the situation with CJ and never contacted Kamari, never asked about her. We never saw her on a video saying, I hope she's doing well, happy birthday, nothing. So CJ offered to get Carnation some shoes and for some reason they bring that up in a video saying we don't want your shoes, we don't want nothing from you. When it had nothing to do with Jaleel. It's not over here. Broke is some other direction. Let's just point over there. Broke is in that direction, okay? But it's not over here. Not over Trust me CJ, we know where Broke is. And the sad part about it is we're just now hearing that she makes around the same money as CJ. So you could do better for your children. You could take them on shopping sprees regularly, not once every six months or whatever, or once for their birthday. She could do more for her children. She is choosing not to. But watch, she's going to come out with a video spending all this money on them, trying to make it seem like she's not broke, but still having to go back to her mother's house. The word of the day is priorities. Getting a comfortable place for your children to lay their head is way more important then going and getting them toys from a store, which they're probably going to play with for a couple of hours and then never again. Let me know what you think about this situation. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.